Welcome to the next episode of Your Christmas Coach. It's finally here. I've brought Russ back today, who's going to share a very powerful technique that's going to help you connect in your conversations. Russ, can you tell us about that? Absolutely, Marcus. Right. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about active listening. Okay. Active listening is a concept that is will be fundamental to your conversation skills, um, and it will help facilitate conversation a lot. The idea behind active listening is that you paraphrase or restate the information that the person you're talking to has given you. So you sum up the information they, they're giving you Absol in one Absolutely, you feed it back to them. You feed it back to them. Yeah. Um, the reason this is important and the reason why you should use active listening is because one, uh, it makes the individual feel that included in the conversation and it shows that you're listening to them. So, um, yeah, so one, you know, it shows that you're listening to sure. what, they, what they're saying. And secondly, it helps to build rapport quite quickly and it helps the individual to feel comfortable in, in the interaction that you've got. Um, what's important with active listening is not only do you paraphrase and restate the information they've given you, but it's quite important to add at the end of that an evoking question. Because the invoking question will help you take the conversation to another level and continue a new thread, if you will. Okay, cool. should, we, should we try this out now? Yeah, let's just okay. a uh, quick example. Go for it. Uh, Marcus, how's your day going today? My day's going really great. The sun's shining. Life is good. Life is good. Fantastic. What have you done recently that's made your life fantastic? Well, do you know what? I decided I was going to come out to London on the one sunny day of the year. And, uh, and, you know, I'm enjoying it. There's a good buzz around. There's a really good buzz around, eh? Um, I think my favourite part about London is uh, just how everyone's really, really friendly. Is there anything about London that you like? Hey, I just, I love the whole place. It's good, good, you know, you can't go wrong, can you? No, you cannot go wrong. So what we've done there is we've taken the opportunity to try and feed back to what the words that Marcus has said and add an evoking question to help facilitate the conversation a little bit more. And you've said before, this stops conversations going in one ear and out the other. So if you have a trouble listening to somebody as you're talking to them, you know, sometimes we switch off, this stops it, yeah. as well as building up that connection. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's very important as well just to say that doing this, my, when I first started doing this, I was thinking, what if I sound like a robot just going, I will repeat everything you say, but it's not like that. It's something we sprinkle in now and then, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You don't have to say everything that they give you word for word. Find one aspect of it, like uh, the sunny day, and feed that back. So, oh, it's a sunny day. Do you, do you like the sun, for example? Sure. And okay. so you don't have to repeat. You don't have to power it back. And after a little bit of practice, it might feel a little bit odd to start with, but after a little bit of practice, you'll start to internalize it, and it will become very natural, and the person you're talking to won't know any different. Awesome. So, Russ, do you want to show us how it's done? Yes, I do. Okay. Let me go and find someone to Get demonstrate this one for you guys. Um, How are you going? Sorry to interrupt your lunch. Yes, Can I uh, ask you a super quick question? Yeah. Do you have a favourite spot in London? Um, not really. <laughs> no, how can you not have a... Are you from London? No, I don't really like London. I just want to show kids around. <laughs> right, where are you from? Uh, Brighton. Sorry, I'm Ross, by the way. Phoebe. Lovely to meet you, Phoebe. The reason I'm asking is I, I grew up in London. Okay. And I'm over here from Australia. I live in Australia now and I'm looking at like really comfortable spots and I'm a bit of a designer, I do microclimate design. And I, I absolutely love Trafalgar Square. And I thought, I'm gonna ask lots of people what they think their favorite spot in London is. <laughs> and surely you have one, maybe. Um, or even in the world, it doesn't have to be in London. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you've got pressure. the cutest giggle, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, right. uh, probably in London, St. James's Park. St. James's Park? Yeah. What do you love about it? Uh, the Pelicans. <laughs> The pe you love the pelicans. That's sweet. I hate pelicans, Phoebe. <laughs> They're very have, you, um, have you travelled much? Uh, yeah, I've been to Australia and America. You've been to Australia and America? Yeah. Whereabouts in Australia have you been? Melbourne and Sydney. High five! Where are you from? Sydney. Sydney. Well, I'm from London, but I'm living in Sydney. Yeah. Did you like Sydney? Yeah, I loved it. Did you have a favourite spot in Sydney? Um, the Botanical Gardens. The Botanical Gardens. Absolutely. You could sit there all day just relax and take in. It depends on where in the Botanical Gardens you're sitting yeah, there. Right? If you're in the point where you can see the Opera House and the bridge. Yeah. Did you ever go to the Opera Bar? Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, it's one of my favorite spots as well. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, uh, cool. So what, you show kids, right? Is that right? Yeah. So what do you do? Uh, what do you mean? Like, what do you do with the kids? You just show them around uh, London? Yeah, like, so we're going here next to Piccadilly Circus and we're stopping for lunch here. So you go going to Piccadilly Circus, you're stopping for lunch here, and then where are you taking them next? Uh, literally just to let them go shopping. No yeah. sweat free. When you say kids? Yeah. They're like what? all over, over 16. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> so that make you over 16, clearly, yeah. when you call them 16-year-old a kid? Yeah, well, you know, the kids. 
Okay. So where, where did you say you moved down from? You weren't, so you're not from London? So. No, no, I live in Brighton. Oh, of course, you just did say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. All right, well, look, I'm going to let you go back to your lunch before your, <laughs> your crazy 16-year-olds come back and uh, attack you. <laughs> I just want to say it was a pleasure meeting you, Phoebe. Thank you. I, uh, I was, uh, yeah, I enjoyed our chat. Thanks you all take care. See you later. <laughs> Bye-bye. So what a lot of people don't know about Russ is he's actually a ninja. Look, there he disappears into the crowd. No one can see him. He's just vanished effortlessly. Cameraman can't see him. He's gone. Then, all of a sudden, BOOM! He's back! How on earth does he do it? Well, it's a secret body language technique. This is what he does. Makes this movement, and that causes it to happen. Now, it's a closely guarded secret, so hopefully he'll reveal it in a future video. And that's why I insist you check oh, him out in future sorry, videos, too. I'm back. Cool. Um, can you give us some breakdown about that? That was, uh, that was quite interesting, actually. She was a really friendly girl. Um, she's not from London. Uh, there was an opportunity to feed back the information that she was giving me. She was telling me about the children that she's ferrying around London on a sightseeing type tour. And um, she, uh, so she started telling me that, you know, I've been to Piccadilly, Piccadilly Circus, I'm taking them here. So I fed that back to her and then asked her an evoking question about, oh, so where else have we taken them? To help sort of just build so the conversation a little bit. Is crucial for keeping I, I, I think so, otherwise you get that feeling of uh, being a robot, which yeah. you were saying, which you don't really want to be. You don't just want to feeding back that, oh, you don't want to just keep feeding back the information. Um, the evoking question just helps to give you a new thread of information to have another conversation about. And it also makes it much smoother. So you don't, it's not very choppy in conversation, it's a smooth conversation. And when you walk away, and I think when I was going, I said, look, I really enjoyed our chat, uh, have a great day. Um, you, you come away in a really good place and you yeah. feel like you've had a really good conversation with someone. Ross, Who knows? Thanks for showing us how it's done, No mate. dramas, thanks guys, thanks. see you later. And if you'd like to get your hands on another great resource for mastering your conversation skills, check out my free ebook at yourcharismacoach.com. The address is on the screen now. It's packed full of information and tips that you can put to practice straight away that will transform your conversation skills. All you have to do is enter your name and email address and all the information can be yours. It's helped out people all around the world and now it can help out you too. I won't lie to you, it is pretty damn awesome. See you shortly on the next episode of Your Charisma Coach.